Okay, low class. So uh, from the last example, we noticed that this does go ahead and simplify. So I decided to try it out, and uh, it continues to simplify. And I noticed that it's, it wasn't that bad. So let's let me go ahead and show you how we can simplify this some more. So I'm gonna go ahead and work with this right here. Notice that these are in exponents with one half. So we noticed if we go, can go ahead and remember that x to the 1 half is the same thing as saying the square root. So this is square root of x squared minus 1 that is being added by x squared divided by square root of x squared minus 1. All of that is being divided by x square root of x squared minus 1. Okay. Now what I want you to notice that we can go ahead and split these two uh, fractions up by noticing that if we are being if we are having um a we have a fraction in this form where we have two different uh, functions that are being added together uh, we can go ahead and find out that we can break this up and that is what i call in class the heart and you can break this up as x over z plus y over z so that's what i'm about to do here so i'm going to go ahead and have this as one uh function as one part of the fraction so it's going to be square root of x squared minus 1 divided by x square root of x squared minus 1 and hopefully you're able to see that some of this stuff is going to go ahead and simplify the next one that I have is this part of the heart and it says it's these two right here so I'm going to have a little bit of a mess but it's going to be uh, pretty straightforward and we have square root of x squared minus 1 divided by x square root of x squared minus 1 okay so let's start cleaning this up a little bit so hopefully you're able to see that this right here whoops this right here is the same number on top same number in the bottom that is one whole so all of this becomes a 1 so in reality this is 1 over x plus well notice right here we have these two right here a fraction being divided by a fraction that's the same thing as multiplying these two together. So let me go ahead and do that. If I multiply those two together, I have the following, x squared on the numerator, and then the denominator have this original one. So I'm going to put that right here. That is the square root of x squared minus 1. And it's going to be multiplied by this right here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put the square roots next to each other because the order of multiplication does not matter. So square root of x squared minus 1 all of this was under the square root sorry and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here okay so we're good doing good so far now before we continue to simplify I'm gonna go ahead and remind you that if exponents if we have uh, values that are being multiplied with the same base so let's say something with an x something with x and b and let's say m are the values I can go ahead and add the exponents so we recall that this one half x to the one half will give me x as a whole. So I need you to understand that for when we divide, when we go ahead and combine these two right here. So let's go ahead and do that. This is one over x. This right here is gonna be x squared stayed the same, but this square root of uh, x squared minus one plus this square root of x squared minus one. If you multiply them, you just keep. Um, the inside so it's going to be x squared minus 1 and that is going to be multiplied times this this is x notice how it looks a lot prettier now um, but I can still go ahead and multiply uh, I'm sorry I can still go ahead and add these fractions together if they have the same what the same denominator right so is there a way to make these uh, fractions have the same denominator sure I can I just need them to have I just need them to be the same denominator I can find the common factor so this right here this x is missing all of this, so I'm going to multiply that top and bottom by the other fraction's denominator. That's x squared minus 1. I'm oh, sorry, x. I forgot about that. And then the same thing, x, x squared minus 1. Now, the other way around. I need to go ahead and find out that this is missing just the x. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by this right here. So it's just going to be missing this x right here. Uh, where is it? x over x. Okay, let me go ahead and double check my work real quick. 
Yeah, so this should be good. So if we go ahead and uh, combine like terms on the numerator, these right here will give me x, x squared minus 1 over, this will be x squared, x squared minus 1. As for both of these denominators, plus this right here, I go ahead and combine like terms, this is going to be x cubed. Okay, so far so good. So before we continue, we're going to go ahead and distribute a little bit more. This gives me x cubed minus x over x squared x squared minus 1 and this is x cubed minus x over x to the fourth minus x squared okay that right there should be our solution as that's as simplified as I can go ahead and make it okay that should be our derivative if we go ahead and continue to simplify thank you bye